Welcome back to another Thursday Learn Day. This week's program is Sphero Tamagotchi. And Tamagotchi is a small electronic toy pet that you have to nurture, launching back in 1996. Nick, were you even born in 1996? I was three. Yeah, well, it set the stage for many future games that require you to nurture a pet, and is actually the first ever virtual reality pet. I said pet too many times. So the original Tamagotchi uses buttons that you would click to, what are they called, gestures? The original Tamagotchi uses buttons to feed and clean up after your creature, but Sphero gets rid of those buttons and uses the different sensors inside of the robot to earn hearts for your creature. By earning hearts, it allows your creature to grow up to be cute and happy. So let's take a look at the Sphero Tamagotchi program. Don't need that. Can you care for your creature and earn him enough hearts to grow up to be cute and happy? I think so. Yep. Your creature just ate and needs to be burped. Burp him by tapping him That's on the side. You. Plus oh, one for a total it. of one hearts. One heart. Your creature is very smart. He said his first word. Super Praise smart. him by tapping him on the top of his head. Nice. <laughs> Plus one for a total of two hearts. Your creature has soiled his diaper. Spin Ooh. him like a top to clean him up. <laughs> Plus one for a total of three hearts. Your creature is uncomfortable. Mm. Twist him around 180 degrees. I had the last one. Whoa. <laughs> oh, 180 degrees. You've neglected your creature. You have three hearts. Your creature wants to play. Throw him in the air and catch him. Oh, I him. got it. <laughs> Plus one for a total of four hearts. Yes. Right. We're almost there. Your creature wants attention. Rock him forward or backward. <laughs> Plus one for a total of five hearts. Your creature wants you to paint his How nursery. Is it going? Blue. Shake the sphero when you see. Alright, blue nursery. Blue. There, go get it. <laughs> Plus one for a total of six hearts. Congratulations, you earned your creature six hearts. He will grow up to be a cute cyber creature that could be great one day. Aww. I know who's a great Tamagotchi parent. Hmm, who? Binary Bill. Let's go to him to see how this program works. Oh, my little Tamagotchi. Oh, you want sleep? You want to play? I gotta clean you up. Oh, such a cutie. You're gonna be such a cute and happy creature one day. Oh. Time for a Thursday Learn Day shoot! In Sphero Tamagotchi, there are seven nurturing tasks, but they're defined as functions in this program. In this version, you have to nurture your Sphero Tamagotchi. Oh, what a little cute baby! You want to spin it and throw it up and stuff. If you achieve each nurturing task, you'll earn a heart. But for each one that you miss or don't do fast enough, you won't earn that heart and your Tamagotchi could grow up to be a strange alien and will get worse and worse deformities as you get closer to the score of zero. Here are the seven destinies possible for your Sphero Tamagotchi. A score from five to seven is great and a score from zero to four is terrible. For seven, he will grow up to be a cute and happy cyber creature that is destined for greatness. For six, he will be a cute cyber creature, but not happy, and could be great one day. For five, he'll be a full-grown cyber creature, but not cute or happy, and he may dream of greatness. For four points, he could grow up to be a cute alien that is fully functioning, but with no visible abnormalities. For three points, he'll grow up to be an alien with one leg that hops around. For two, he'll be a strange alien with zero legs, but with four arms and can crawl. For one point, he'll be a strange alien with six stomachs that becomes very fat. And for zero points, he'll be a grotesque alien who lives in a basement with 14 eyes covering his head, bad breath, and lingering odor. In the main loop of this program, the logic picks a random function from one to seven, such as burping, playing, or to clean up a dirty diaper. Each task is defined as a function, and you have to match the sensor-based gesture within three seconds. After that, the order function ensures that you never see the same nurturing task more than once in the program. Now let's break down one of these functions, pull it apart, and see how it works. How about dirty diapers? Oh, sick. Binary Bill ain't afraid, let's check it out. 
In this function, like the others, there's a verbal task. Your creature has soiled his diaper. Spin him like a top to clean him up. In this case, your creature soiled his diaper, so you need to spin him like a top to clean it up. Then there's a timer for three seconds that checks to see if you got the gesture correct and an on time. For the dirty diaper, it uses the gyroscope to measure your spin rate, and you need to spin the sphero like a top to wipe up the dirty diaper, just like the real thing. If you get it right, the program increments the hearts variable by one. Plus one for a total of one hearts. And if you get it wrong, or are too slow, you don't earn the heart. Lastly, the program blinks red and reads your updated heart value after each task. After each function runs, the main loop checks to see if all seven functions have run. If not, it goes back to the top to run the next function. If it has completed all of them, we skip to the gotchi score function, and we read out your zero to seven score of hearts into your creature's destiny. You can stick with the seven nurturing functions we've written in the program, or get creative and write your own. Let's see what you got. Try to earn five or more hearts. Any less than that, you will get a grotesque creature like this guy. <laughs> you can find the Sphero Tamagotchi program in the Sphero EDU app and check back next week for another Thursday Learn Day.